call her Hope. She's alone, slumped, sitting on an arid, barren earth, feet cracked and sore from walking throughout the despairing land, shouting and crying out in the streets. But the people, self-centered, walk on without looking at her, without hearing, pretending they can't hear her. Her eyes and ears are bandaged, injured from seeing man as he really is, from hearing his bluster, his lying and whining. Her tunic, once sheer and transparent, is now weather-stained, filthy, and tattered. One string only remains on her lyre, but still she clutches it in her weary hands, and still she strains to hear it play again.